Things are moving quickly in the world of healthcare, coding, and compliance as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. New codes have been released. I mentioned the ICD-10 code in this video. There has also been new guidance provided and waivers. Oh my. <laughs> well, in this video, I will introduce you to a new CPT code and discuss the guidance for the waivers regarding telehealth. Watch until the end of the video where we will have a little chat about the valuable commodity of coders and information on the five steps to become a certified marketable medical coder. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. And on this channel, I provide you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. As a result of my straightforward strategies, tips, and optimistic approach to education and learning, I've helped hundreds of students become certified medical coders who have developed dynamic careers in the business of healthcare and are valuable resources in their own right. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest information and tips you need to become a certified marketable medical coder. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of my weekly videos. A new CPT procedure code has been created for COVID-19 laboratory testing. It is CPT code 87635. The code description states infectious agent detection by nucleic acid, DNA or RNA, severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus, COVID-19, amplified probe technique. You may report this code for encounters starting March 13th, 2020. Let's talk about an example of its use. If a patient presents with symptoms such as a fever, cough, and shortness of breath, and it is suspected by the provider that the patient may have COVID-19, then swabs are collected and sent to the lab and code 87635 is reported. Please check with your payers to determine if payers require a HCPCS code or a CPT code. If they require a CPT code, then 87635 is the code to use for testing. Now, Let's switch gears and talk about waivers. On March 30th, CMS issued temporary waivers and new rules to help the healthcare system respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. And let's look specifically at telehealth. Telehealth has been expanded greatly so that providers can take care of their patients. All Medicare beneficiaries can receive telehealth services and they can receive it from their home. Under the waiver, telehealth can be used for emergency services and other e &M services like critical care, initial nursing facility and hospital care, and discharge day management. Even new patients to the provider can be seen via telehealth. The waivers have also expanded the types of providers that can be paid for Medicare telehealth services, like licensed clinical social workers, clinical psychologists, physical and occupational therapists, and speech and language pathologists. Another huge shift as a result of the waivers is that for national and local coverage determinations that require face-to-face -face visits, the requirements are being dropped during the public health emergency. These waivers for telehealth and other areas go into effect immediately. So, you have learned that the new COVID-19 CPT code for testing is 87635. You have also learned the guidance and instructions for the new temporary waivers for telehealth. Question of the day, are you being provided with this information? And are these updates helpful for you? Let me know your comments below. So, I don't know if you or someone you know was caught up in the conversations that medical coding was going away and it is a thing of the past. Well, rest assured, that is far from the truth. If you are like me and you listen daily to the live updates regarding COVID-19 in your area, then you know there is a lot of data that is being discussed. For example, how many folks have been tested, who has actually been diagnosed, et cetera. 
Well, guess where that information for the data comes from? Think about it. Coded documentation. Most people associate medical coding with reimbursement, but medical coding expands into so many more areas. Statistics, data analysis, morbidity and mortality tracking, just to name a few. And these are the areas that we are experiencing and witnessing every day. And the icing on the cake is that this profession is one that can be done remotely. It actually has been done remotely for years. So I encourage you, if you are interested in medical coding, get certified and become marketable. There is room for you and I can help you achieve both. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key, providing you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. Again, if you're interested in more information on these tips and others on how to become a certified marketable medical coder, we'll check out these videos and check this out. Are you interested in medical coding, but not sure where to start and scared of wasting time and resources? Let me help you with the right steps to become a certified marketable medical coder. Learn more at bit.ly slash five steps coder. If you like the video, don't forget to let me know by hitting the thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are informed every week when I upload new content. I love hearing from you, so let me know you were here by providing a comment or a question. Let's stay connected and connect others, especially now that we're kind of quarantined. <laughs> Remember, be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Until next time, take care. And thanks for watching.